I heard you were quite good when you went on for me last week. The audience was disappointed. I did my best, but there's no comparison. No, you're being modest. Well, it doesn't much matter, does it? I mean, you're here. That seems to surprise you. Why would I be surprised? I brought your tea back. You know, special blend of tea leaves that your grandmother whips up in her country kitchen? Didn't you like it? I mean, it really calms me down. Yeah, so you said. Take some before opening night. Wonderful for the nerves. Oh, it is. Yeah, maybe so. Not quite so good for the rest of the body. I don't know what you mean. Let me see if I can make myself perfectly clear. Since you practically forced that tea on me, and since your motives are so transparent, I took some to my doctor and had him send a sample to the lab. A lab? I learned a marvelous new word. Cyclophosphamide. It's an alkylating agent. That's an odd thing to find in your grandmother's recipe. Well, there must be some mistake. This causes dizziness and nausea. A few sips of this and I'd be home right now and you'd know which makeup to use. Monica, you weren't even willing to pay your dues, were you? Care tonight. Oh, didn't know you had company. Hi, Mark. Hi. This is private, Leo. No, come on in, Leo. The three of us will have a little talk. About what? Oh, pick a subject. Opening nights, doing a favor for an intimate friend. What? Huh? Or going to medical school? You did go, didn't you, for a few years? I imagine you had courses in chemistry. Well, that was a long time ago. Why? What's this all about? She knows. That's right. Now that she had it analyzed. Oh, brother. Okay, look, we spiked your tea, but it wouldn't have harmed you. Just would have slowed you down for tonight. The question is, what are you going to do? I told you it was crazy. You wouldn't listen. Be quiet. I put people in jail for something Be like quiet. this. Be quiet. 